Tofu the Terrible Slayer. Matilda, singing Rose Cornblows, was in no singing mood today. Every day, she'd wake up singing, Good day, sunshine, by the Beatles. Even if she got up at the crack of dawn again, or decided to work in Norway, away from her mom and dad, throughout an entire darkened five-month winter as a nine-year-old ski model for North Face, knowing in a post Corona universe. She was used to doing remote learning away from school anyway. But this drab Thanksgiving morning was different because she had to act thankful for eating tofurkey roast again. Despite the spirit of Tofu the Terrible terrorizing her dreams since she described soy dogs in her school lunch cafeteria blog as rubber dog link nosh toys. But how could Matilda, singing rose corn blues, act grateful for eating a tofurkey roast since her fourth grade teacher, uh, Miss Wright, made it clear how the Native American Indians weren't responsible for teaching the pilgrims how to turn soy milk into white blocks of semi-firm bricks of soy with higher levels of estrogen to feminize John Smith's sturdy stock of sailors wet. Also, Thanksgiving this year, post-corona, wasn't feeling particularly festive, knowing Matilda was suffering from PTSD from wearing all those corona masks to death. Matilda was now having nightmares of being terrorized by the mass man, Tofu the Terrible ruin every favorite meal she dream of. For example, if Matilda just won the gold medal in the hardcore X Games for equestrian riders within the under 10 years age bracket, having to complete jumps through rings of fire with an occasional baby dragon on her tail. She'd normally celebrate with her best friend, Shannon, in her dream over their favorite treat jelly beans for a sleepover party soon after. But now all that appeared in her dream were pasty, slimy soybeans in the place of jelly beans because Tofu the Terrible was punishing her for calling soy dogs on her cafeteria food blog not good enough to pass for rubber dog toys. And Matilda hated pet dogs because they ate dog food uh, mince, with minced horse meat inside. Matilda had always been a hardcore vegetarian loyalist, yet she greatly offended the spirit of Tofu the Terrible, a ferocious Chinese vegetarian warrior from the Ming Dynasty who even got Genghis Khan into Mapo Tofu over Jasmine Rice, a fiery dish loaded with super scary Szechuan spice, the smell from the grounded up Szechuan peppercorns would make most grown men cry, making their lips tremble in fear at the prospect of having to try one more bite, knowing Genghis Khan would be hoarding all the sake rice wine for any temporary relief for themselves soon afterwards. Matilda was convinced she'd never enjoy the food she loved in real life again such as her dad's fried Icelandic cod in a barbecue aioli, not tasting anything but mushy dog drool instead. Now, it was time for everyone at the table to give thanks for Thanksgiving, which Matilda had been dreading from the start, because she was consumed with nightmarish visions of Tofu the Terrible ruining all her favorite foods in her dreams and in real life, such as her dad's star side dish creation, caramelized cauliflower, potato gratin, combining cave aged Gruyere and Rockville cheese from the Swiss Alps, which injected the dish with an extra scrumptious, creamy, fresh finish. Matilda's dad, a state-owned comedian Arthur, podcast host and self-taught semi gourmand chef, could tell his daughter was dreading her turn to participate and says, Matilda, you look like you've seen a ghost. Is Tofu the Terrible ruining the taste of your jelly beans again? Matilda freaks up shaken out of her petrified, frozen comatose, and says, how did you know about 
Tofu the Terrible Daddy. Matilda's dad says, I helped you launch your own lunch cafeteria blog on WordPress. Remember? Your last piece, Tofu Brownie Blues, was about how Tofu the Terrible threatened to shred everyone's mass at school unless the brownie girl started selling his special batch of tofu brownies at the next school book fair instead. Matilda says, do we have to eat the tofurkey roast this year? Dad says, no. Try this veggie barbecue pita instead. Matilda takes a reluctant bite, but is moved by her dad's gesture of goodwill. She says, yummy daddy. Her dad says, I fried up cubes of semi-firm soy inside that bad boy. The sauteed onions and peppers keep the memories of mushy dog toy food at bay. Tofu the Terrible was dead in Matilda's head, and she started singing again while giving thanks and praises at Thanksgiving. Singing, soy dogs still suck, Tofu the Terrible too, but you're no longer so bad since my daddy came to my rescue. The end.